Good afternoon. We are here today harvesting some of our apple gourds and our birdhouse gourds and any other gourds that we have. So every year we plant, I've got a little trough right down here, and we just plant whatever seeds we want. We do a lot of different things on the farm with the gourds, but mainly birdhouses and paint them and varnish them and things like that. So as you can see, I built this years ago, not even for uh, a means of uh, gourds. I just really built it to have some benches with some bird houses up here. And we started putting, and again, all this is, you'll hear a lot in our videos about this, this is just cattle panel. And I just cut it to size and just ran it up and stapled it. I ran some four by fours, a four by four here, and then cattle panel across the top. That's it. And this is where we get ours every year. So today we're just getting a couple. Uh, today we're just really focusing. So like right here, this nice guy is sitting here resting right on the bench. You can see that the stalk is starting to turn brown. And that's really what I'm after. Uh, I want to, I don't like to get them when they're completely brown and dried out because a lot of times we have insecticide or excuse me, insects that are going to mess with them. And you can, you can steal, you can see here, something's kind of gotten on it, but you know what? We kind of like that look. I'm going to come all the way up here to the top and try and get as much stem as possible. And there's your apple gourd. Okay. It's going to take about 18 months to completely dry out in the top of the barn. As you can see, we've got birdhouse gourds. Okay. And then we've got some that look a little bit better. You know, these and try and leave a little bit here. And then what's neat when you harvest at different times too, is you can get some neat little apple gourds. Okay. That, some of the bigger ones, and then this, okay? So you know, harvesting the apple gourds and the, and the birdhouse gourds, here's one here. Now that's about as perfect as you can get to look like an apple. I'm just gonna grab that. I'm gonna just clip that. You know, leave the stalk, you know, leave you a little bit of stalk. You never know. I think I see some people come in and they get it real low and then you might want to take a flower and put it here if you plant these. These are great gifts for great teachers. And I think teachers are not appreciated enough. My dad was, I was, uh, you know, my sister, um, you know, and we've got some great people out there that are teachers. You know, these are things we give our good teachers around here once they're painted because they do need to be recognized. Let's see, here's another one. Another birdhouse gourd is here. Nice little petite one speckled there's one let me see what else we've got i thought i saw yeah and here's another one right here i'm gonna get it's up tall he may not want to be gotten yet but we're gonna get him there's one right there here's another one i love the speckle on them because they're different so there's not another gourd like this out there yeah, there's one that's like his little brother, has a lot more speckles, but he's one of his own. So is this one. So here's what we've got today, harvesting some apple gourds, some birdhouse gourds. This will show you that you can plant both varieties at the same time. You're not going to have any cross pollination, at least not here. And we have bees, birdhouse, apple gourds. Leave any questions or comments below. Really appreciate your time. Again, thank you.